Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and, or maybe I should say, another day, another dollar with your homeboy Jermaine, something along those lines. Right now, it's Sunday, another caviar delivery day. Yesterday was like an amazing day. I think today is gonna be just as good. There's really awesome bonuses today. And right now, I'm outside of a restaurant. I'm about to pick up a double order, go drop this one off, and just keep repeating the process all day. And that's pretty much what I got going. So, yo, let's get this video started. A little elevator action in this video. Going up, going up. And then we gotta go halfway across town to drop the other order off. Yippee! Back in the Mission District, and I have a pickup that's right down the street here. But before I pick this order up, because I have about 15 more minutes, or I have about 10 minutes before this order needs to be picked up, thought I would stop here and grab some vegan pancakes. St. Francis, this is like a candy shop and they also make breakfast and they have vegan pancakes. They're really, really good. So right before I pick this order up, let's go grab some pancakes, yo. Breakfast in the car. Breakfast not on some tropical beach right now. It's just boring breakfast in San Francisco as I'm hustling and making money, getting ready for that next trip, that next epic adventure, yo. Got a box of donuts. Let's go deliver this box of donuts. Oh, cool, just dropped off the donuts. <laughs> ah, those donuts actually smell really, really good, by the way. Ah. Well, I'm just down at Baker Beach. Look at this. It looks like a big boat or something like washed up on the water. Look at that thing. Taking up lots of parking in the parking lot for sure. <laughs> oh, thinking of parking lot. Here's a parking spot. As of now, I'm not really getting many requests on caviar because honestly, I'm not in the, the perfect area to get caviar requests. Right now, I'm at Baker Beach and Baker Beach is, it's, pretty far away from like downtown it's pretty far away from the action it there's like a nude beach down here it's a really nice beach but I really want to check out this area um you know ever since I got back from Australia I've been a little um a little tripped out about going through the woods and you know going hiking and that sort of thing so I'm trying to get over that fear by just going back out in the woods and stuff I mean even when I'm driving the car Every now and then I think, oh crap, is there a snake in the car? And I sort of freak out. But I think this looks very, very beautiful. You know, I do so much traveling around the world and I'm trying to appreciate my country more and appreciate California more. And look at this. Like I don't have to get on an airplane to find something epic. I can find epic things right here, right here in California today. Like I don't have to go anywhere. Just have to go explore. This is the Presidio area. This area is really, really nice, by the way. Don't want to get too far away from the car because there is a lot of broken glass in that parking lot. And whenever you see broken glass in a parking lot, that means that cars get broken into all the time. It's just a rule of thumb. In some places you go to, you will never see glass in the parking lot. Hint, hint, Whole Foods. Because when a car gets broken into, they clean it up really fast. It's been some time since I've been here. The last time I came to Baker Beach, it was during the government shutdown. I'm not talking about this government shutdown. I'm talking about one like two years ago because I remember coming here and you couldn't even go to this parking lot because with the whole government shutdown, this was like closed and it was just like a mess. Like I remember parking like really far away and like walking through and like getting down to the beach because I really wanted to go to the beach. It, that was back in the day when I had that valet job. So they told me the days that I had off, which I really didn't like that, you know, and it changed every week. Like some weeks I would have Monday off and then I'd have uh, like a Thursday off. And then the next week I'd have like Saturday off and then have like a Wednesday off. And oh my gosh, I hated that so much. So I would have to go to the beach when they say go to the beach. So that was the only time I had to go to the beach. And on that day I was going down to the beach. It was just, it was a bummer because it, like this whole parking lot was closed and you guys get what I'm saying. Next. Okay, so there's this weird thing. Wow, what happened to it? Looks like some front end damage there. Some random stuff. Oh, of course, we would find a lime scooter. Dude, these were banned in San Francisco like a few months ago, so uh, maybe it came from off this thing. Wow, look at this. 
It definitely looked like a ship wreckage. Oh, there's a TV still there, like right there on the wall. Huh. How did it get here? Did it get washed all the way up or what? Like, did someone drag it from over here? Question mark. There are amazing views over here. One of my favorite views of the city. If you're ever traveling in San Francisco and you want to take some really nice shots, really nice photos, and it's not a rainy day and it's not a foggy day, come into Baker Beach. You can take some really epic shots. There is, you know, you got the water, the, the, the beach, the ocean there. Wow, this looks very different from the water in Australia. This looks a whole lot greener, a um, whole lot more, I don't know, it just doesn't look as blue as the water in Australia. But anyway, awesome views. Um, there's always this epic shot right here where you can like, you know, stand in front of the bridge and pose and do all sorts of things for Instagram or you guys get what I'm saying. And of course, we'll find a jump bike down here at the beach. Who brought this freaking jump bike all the way down here? Hey, <laughs> that's so weird. Like, how did that get here? It probably got washed into the water. Who knows? <laughs> Poor bike. Yeah. A little beach time. Wow, like I said, it's Sunday, so it's crazy busy. Usually, I would, wouldn't come here on a Sunday just because it's crazy busy. But right now, I just... I don't know, I'm just out doing caviar and it's, I don't know, it's not really busy. Sunday's usually always busy, but we've had so much rain in the forecast. I think people are just maybe not ordering as much or maybe I'm just in the wrong area. Let's do this. Let's get out of this area. Let's go back over there. <laughs> Soma or somewhere else besides the Presidio. Let go. Okay, one more delivery down. Huh. So many beautiful sights all around San Francisco. And delivering food or driving for Uber. You can see a lot of those sights. Okay, let's fast forward the day a little bit. Now it's raining again, just, just as I imagined it would rain. I was checking the forecast and it was like a 30% chance of rain, but looking up at the sky, it looked like it was about to rain any minute now. It is, what time is it? It is 4.35, the caviar bonus has just started, and the caviar bonuses today are complete two orders and get a $14 bonus, and this is from 4.30 p.m. through 8.30 p.m., so there's like a four hour window, and it's raining right now, it's Sunday, it's crazy busy, it's raining too, so it is time to go, go make some, uh, go make some money with caviar, yo, especially with these really good bonuses going on. Wow, look at this beautiful sunset. Earlier today it was sunny, then it was gonna rain, and then now I can see the sunset. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful evening. A little beach action in between caviar deliveries. <laughs> it's actually really busy right now, but once again, I'm way over here in Ocean Beach, and instead of running halfway across town for a request, I thought I would stop and take a moment and take a deep breath and look at this amazing view I like to do this when I'm out traveling but why not do this when I'm at home it's free yeah beautiful sunset well somewhat of a sunset okay guys let's fast forward a little bit later I'm done with deliveries and it's also it's cold outside <laughs> it's not too cold maybe it's like 45 degrees but when you live in the bay area 45 degrees is 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 kind of cold and also it's not like i have a jacket on i just have a hoodie on and two shirts not that big of a deal so that's why i'm cold anyway today wasn't the busiest day i made about 245 dollars i just like you know subtract and figured it out which was kind of slow, but honestly, I wasn't really pushing it today. Today were some amazing bonuses, like during dinner time. And once again, I was not pushing those bonuses because I've been working like nonstop. I think this is day 10 or 11 that I work like nonstop that I've made well over $250 a day. Like two days ago, I made um, what, it was like $270. So I did make 300 every day. And today I definitely didn't make 300. Not that big of a deal, not that, big of a deal like I don't usually work like this all the time and if you guys are watching this video and you're wondering like how do you make so much money well easy I just work a lot like I work a lot and I've noticed in the comments people are saying that um, from yesterday's video about the $359 that 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually making less than minimum wage once I subtract all the expenses. Let's just talk about expenses really fast. I'm going to make a video talking about this more in, in depth, but I just want to talk about the expenses really fast. The only expense that I have, the only expense that I have, and I know a lot of people try to compare me with their situation, but the only expense that I have here is the car. Um, and it's about $41 a day to rent the car. And a lot of people might say that that's a lot of money to rent a car, but actually, it's not a lot of money to rent a car. Two years ago, I would rent um, just a rental car through Hertz, and I would use it with Uber. That rental car costs about $35 a day to rent, plus I would have to pay extra for gas. I would pay anywhere from $20 to $40 in gas. It really depends on the day that I was working, the amount of driving I was doing, but pretty much on a Sunday, I would easily spend about $30 in just gasoline. So $35 plus $30 equals $65 a day in operating expense using a gasoline car. Yet with the electric car, it's roughly $41 a day. But wait, you do have to stop and charge, and this will be a really this could actually be a really big problem if you are an Uber driver and you're driving passengers. But if you guys know me, I don't drive passengers. I take deliveries. And with deliveries, deliveries usually stay in the same area. So I don't really have to worry about charging as much. Yeah, I just thought I want to throw that out there. I will definitely make a video talking and explaining how I do make $300 plus a day. Um, I think that would be a pretty interesting video to make. But meanwhile, I'm about to just bounce out of here, get ready to go. Thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out. Yo.